Hello friends, this video on understanding elementary shapes part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this, we uh, learned the properties of various types of quadrilaterals. Now it's question time. Question number one, give reasons for the following. A square can be thought of as a special rhombus. So can you think square as a special rhombus? Yes, we can because a square satisfies all the criteria of a rhombus. That is all sides are equal. So all sides are equal in a square. But with addition to that square has some special features like all angles are equal. So a square satisfies all condition of a rhombus. Therefore square can be thought of as a special rhombus. A square can be thought of as a special rectangle. Yes, of course, square is a special rectangle because again square satisfies all conditions to become a rectangle. Like what are the conditions you need to become a rectangle? In a rectangle, all angles should be equal and each angle should be equal to 90 degree. Opposite sides should be equal Opposite sides should be parallel. So these are some of the criteria needed to become a rectangle. So we see that a square satisfies all the criteria to become a rectangle. In fact, besides that, square has some extra features. For example, in a square, all the sides are also equal. All the diagonals are also equal. So the, those are the extra features in a square. So yes, a square can be thought of as a special rectangle. A rectangle can be thought of as a special parallelogram. Yes, of course, because what are the criteria to become a parallelogram? Opposite sides should be parallel, opposite sides should be equal. And a rectangle satisfies those criteria and on top of that, a rectangle has some extra feature. What is that extra feature? All angles are equal, which is not so in case of parallelogram. So we can say that a rectangle is also a special parallelogram. Question number two, examine whether the following are polygons. If any one among them is not, say why. So let's look at the first image. Now what are the criteria, the three criteria to become a polygon? First is it should be a simple curve. Well, this is a simple curve because it doesn't cross itself. Second is it should be a closed curve. But do you think this is a closed curve? This is not a closed curve because you see it is open from here. It is open from here. So this is not a closed curve. So therefore this is not a polygon. And why not a polygon? Because this is an open curve and not a closed one. Second one. Here also let's match the criteria. First criteria it should be a closed curve. Well it is a closed curve. Second criteria it should be a simple curve. This is a simple curve. Third criteria it should be made up of only line segments. But here it is not made up of only line segment because this is a curve. So this is also not a polygon because it is not made up of only line segments. Question number three, draw a rough sketch of a regular octagon. Octa means eight. So a polygon with eight sides, it is a regular octagon. So all the eight sides are equal in length. Draw a rectangle by joining exactly four of the vertices of the octagon. So if you consider these four vertices, one, two, three, and four. And if you join them like this, what do you get? you get a rectangle. So in this fashion, we can draw a rectangle inside an octagon. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes, and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics, and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.